Everything, isn't Podcast number three for the day. Oh, oh. done a lot of talking, haven't we? We're yes. right at fishing today, waffling. isn't it? It's because we have No fishing playing. as well. We have, we've yet, we've blanked today. We haven't no, fished. I, I feel blank, as though we would have If you've not them. used cast a rod out, it's not a blank. Is no. it? I used to say this when I was caught fishing. If you went man stalking and you didn't actually cast in, it and was not blank. blank. Yeah. Is that the rule? So, because we've not wet oh, a line. Yeah, yeah, no, we haven't. Yeah, yeah fair It's play. like a crime to not have tried to catch one today. It's a crime to not wet a line. Yeah, <laughs> it didn't really rhyme, did it, all that? First sexy day we've not even tried to catch this. It's, anyway, just a, it's a failed picnic. Podcasting time again for <clears throat> more waffling for you lot to listen to as you're driving to your matches or whatever. So, yeah, all access member stuff. Basically, if you don't know, every month we go out with a guest who's a bit good at a certain type of fishing yes. yeah we try to pick some special ones definitely and we'll continue to do this is the big emphasis that we're pushing this year in it in yeah. the winning wazy world but it's getting frightening anglers to teach us fishing. i know much, it's, it's it? nice on a lesson isn't it <laughs> you sit there, like, there you go there's on. my money teach me <laughs> <laughs> but it's yeah all good so one of the questions we got asked on the member side of things <clears throat> was out of them all what's the biggest lessons you've learned so we thought we'd go through Almost one by one, because what we've we done, five or six of them so far? Yes, yeah, six, six I reckon we've done, unless yeah. we missed anyone. Yeah, six, we'll I think. Go through them, try and do them in order if I can remember. Yeah, go through and each we're one. We're going to see biggest lessons. Biggest thing you've learned from each one going out, obviously. If we had Speedy. As, as we go, yeah. name them as we go. So, so yeah. He is first on the list. Yeah, Speedy is first. Nicholas Speed was yeah. the first ever guest on that we've had. Amazing. And we went to Lindo. It was nice, wasn't it? It was like, it was middle of the year, it must have been like warm still. Must have been like July sometime, wasn't it? June, July, August. It was good. But anyway, yeah. we took him up there. There was no way we were doing anything else with Speedy other than meth feeding to begin yeah, with. Yeah, yeah. He is the man with the method in it. Unbelievable. You know what I mean? And yeah, does things so different. Like, like you th it's a weird one. You thought he was going to be good, but you didn't expect him to be that much better. Different, than everyone yeah. At, yeah. Just, just do things different. Completely different than... I know, I remember like on the way back, as well. I <clears throat> spoke to you and obviously about uh, how light the tips are and things like that, that you know what I mean? Thing. We'll come on to that Ridiculous. biggest thing, but yeah, Speedy, he's very, very good at putting it across as well, Speedy, because he's so good at doing this. Yeah, he's good at talking. So brilliant, the, the perfect first guest, yeah, yeah. brilliant to explain his thoughts on everything. And yeah. Because he's very top of the game at what he does, he's evaluated everything and can explain why everything's done for a reason. Yeah. You know what I mean? Very, very good, which is the case with every single one that we've been with, isn't it? Yeah. Up to now, everyone that we chose does proper in depth. But it's and been done as well as it could possibly be done with their <laughs> opinions and thinking. Yeah. So, speed is yet lessons. The, the biggest lesson in it is what you mentioned already. What was it? It was quarter ounce, wasn't it? Yeah, quarter ounce. Quarter tonight. ounce tips for his meth feeder. If you'd have told me that before the start, I said, What are you lying for? What are you, doing? <laughs> what are you lying <laughs> for? What are you even <laughs> on about quarter ounce bloody tip? Yeah. You watch it, you go, oh yeah, that's right. So what in your well, I can't mind? get them now, so it's no flipping good because we don't make quarter ounce tips, so that's no <laughs> good you, to me. Like, is it? Is it in, would you have gone to your lighter tips anyway, or has it instantly made you change to your lighter tips that you'd have? It's a, I was always on sort of like middle straight down the road, like ounce and a half or something like that. Yeah, one goes in your rod and never comes out. <laughs> yeah, the one that's already in there, <laughs> that'll do. <laughs> now, the, the quarter ounce tips, how much sense it makes? <clears throat> it makes sense when you look at the bite. From the line, as you mean? The bite. Right. The bite when the fish is on, He's there, he fished a slack line a lot as well because it shows up everything. Yeah. And Speedy's all about his feeder never moving. I mean, it's just been a perfect example with it on Guru's yeah, yeah, yeah. underwater one yeah. with a tip and the feeder moving up a line yeah, and all of that. Steve was on a real slack line, wasn't he? Yeah, but a heavy tip. Speedy's all about keeping his feeder still. Right. So this quarter ounce tip, it's, it shows up everything. And when a fish flipping takes his feeder, you can almost see the bite and the feeder hasn't moved, but you know it's on because of these quarter ounce tips. Like it was a, yeah, he's awesome. Yeah, that was me, my biggest learning thing with him. Is, he, then, is he fishing everything free running and? <clears throat> it has to be at Lindo, doesn't yeah. it? It has to be all in line and all that sort yeah, of stuff. Yeah, so it's almost a feeder still in position. You can just watch yeah, it. Yeah, he knew exactly what was going on. Well, it's, it's what he does, doesn't he? Oh, he mate, knew awesome everything that was going on at all times with his feeder, holding his rod as well, and oh, watch it. How? That's the one. <laughs> if I were to say anyone, there's an example of what we want to do with winning ways and showing things. Yeah, yeah. speedies. Closely followed by Michael Buckwell, but Speedy's was the one that was like, yeah, but it, it was joke at what he does. The understanding he had of it of, right, this is going to happen, and it happens <clears> exactly <throat> as he says it every time. It's not like been edited or bits cut out, no. waiting for bites. It's like real time, and every time he's like, We literally yep. did it in three sections, didn't we? All run through, never going back and doing it. Yeah, like it's... easiest day filming you've ever had. Yeah. So Speedy, that was the thing among 
eight million flipping others. Yeah, yep. it was the next one. Next like one that. up. I think Des was the next one when it was like the hottest day in the old wide world, wasn't it? Yeah. When we went Go with Des to... next. It could have been. I think it was Des. It was, wasn't it? Because yeah. Bud was. It yeah, was. Bud was later. after Des. Um, yeah. Meadowlands, wasn't it? Like literally the hottest day in the old wide world. Oh, like, the water level was well. We were sat in the water paddling. Yeah, we were. Everything. Everything. Everywhere literally. was like barbecued, wasn't it? Everywhere was just like pale. So, well, brown. we had to cancel it the previous week or something, didn't we? Because it was. Oh, too it was. Yeah. That's we, when you went. Your gingers weren't allowed out. <laughs> no, definitely not. <laughs> you two had evaporated. Absolutely. <laughs> we were like, there's no shade there. I was like all set to get my umbrella up. You know what yeah. I mean? It was like yeah. so, so hot. Uh, but basically, we, we wanted Des uh, to do something with him along the lines of how he goes about just putting fish in his net. Des, he big just qualified as well, as well doing Got, exactly that. Golden reel, won it? From, from that like peg. that peg nearly, won it? doing exactly the same as what, what he showed us, and that's Did exactly it. what he wanted. So not missing out on any of these fish, you know, the skimmers, big roach, uh, but also targeting the carp as well. And yeah. how he went about targeting them carp, you know, it was like, obviously, you know, me and my aggressive feeding, like getting loads in, he was putting like two and three eight mils in because of the noise factor, you know what I mean, drawing them in. Mm. But then the biggest thing for me was the size of the blooming hooks that he used for his meat. You know, sort of six mil meat putting like the biggest hook that he could use for a real like twelves it was, whatever. Was it? Yeah. Like, it was just sort of like, not skimmers, shallow on skimmer, meat. Yeah, skimmers shallow on meat. It was hardly straight, it was just sort of like a lift and it just flopped back down again. And then it'd be on like big skimmers like this. Blasting the empin and then little bits of meat as well. It, it does like, do things different, Des, doesn't he? And it, yeah. Very southern element to his fishing. I was going to say the same. It's like You're going to say that? He's like a hybrid, southern-y. isn't he? It's like <laughs> but he is, because he's learnt a lot of his midlands he not quite yeah. northern but yeah, yeah, yeah. delicate, finessey fishing, but then he's gone down there to his carnage fishing yeah. at Todbrun and that. Oh, yeah, yeah. And he's definitely. a bit hybrid, he does, isn't it, the way he does things? Yeah, and how he plays fish as well. He's playing them high and... Yeah, it's just, just like different. It was dead shallow or just, something. Yeah. No, water. no he, he was, was like five foot, wasn't he, where he was fishing? Yeah, he went over line. it as he was... Was he trying to get him up straight yeah, away? Yeah, up and straight. And then he's like... Or, yeah. yeah, big carps. And like, yeah, he'd get him in, like, fishing light as well, lighter than what you'd normally normally fish for, like, the size of the fish he was after. Yeah. But yeah, no, it was uh, it was interesting, really interesting. You know what I mean? Lovely, nice but, learning. Yeah, no, it was good. It was good. Fill, yeah. Filling the gaps with silvers, that's one thing you've been on about for this year coming. Future of commercial fishing, that. Yeah. You little Bobby, just in lots of different ways, but yeah, that way of fishing, lots of specific venues. Yeah, like the amount of matches you win by, like ounces or like a pound or two, and it's like it's, yeah. it's made up by them. Topping so up, isn't it? Topping up, biggest lesson. For, but yeah, anyway, it's massive. after Des, Michael Buckwalder, it was yeah. Staunton Harold. Yep, that was big, big. It was getting cold then as well. It was just, it was a day before Feeder Masters final, wasn't oh, it? Because was. he was going straight up there afterwards. It was, so when's that? Oh, uh, Start of October, end of September? Not, not, where am I? Uh, what's it called? Yeah. Tamar. Tamar, that's it, yeah, yeah. When's I'm, Feeder Masters? It is, must be start of October, isn't it? It's it, cold there. It's not yeah. nice, is it? No. It's, it's going a bit, a bit But anyway, yeah, we went there, had me waiting in the lake, nearly got eaten by a pike. <laughs> it made me realise that, do you know when you see people feeder fishing, you think, I'd <laughs> I go that, that wouldn't be a million mile behind. I went and I thought, yeah, you dickhead, you're never going to do that. You had a go, didn't you? Yeah, it was horrible. I genuinely he, wish I always filmed, says this. Because it was, Michael made it look so good. Yeah. But you almost think it looks easy. Yeah. Because he makes it look, because he's so good, he makes it look easy. Yeah. And then you had a go and it was like telling your dog to knit or something, <laughs> wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, I'd say it's the best example of efficiency yeah. I've ever seen in fishing. Really? He, yeah. So, I mean, F away from commercial side, there's yeah, all yeah, efficient yeah. F1, shallow fishing, all that crap. Feeder fishing. <laughs> is horrible. But what was it? Every time he was coming back with a fish, for you, it was probably one, one, three. In, one, one in four, three, maybe. One in four, yeah. Yeah, out of cast. Quick casts. What? So, like, you 30 second cast, maybe you're having, and I'm striking at bites I shouldn't be striking at, and he never comes back without a fish. And he's in. Efficient. Hold his yeah, rod, yeah. whatever. Rattles on. Roach on. And he's cat. What are they? Three, ounce, three to six ounce roach, every single go he comes back with a fish. And he had things like, um, as his leader knot hits there, he knows he's got 0.1 of a second or whatever, and he lifts up and the fish is there and not there. And that wasn't a one thing to do. You know what, do you know what my biggest learning was there? I'd be shit at feeder fishing. That's what my lesson was. <laughs> it, it, Flipping and I think it. it was yeah. the only time you think feeder is quicker than a pole. Yeah. You couldn't go quicker than that on a pole on the right venue because of the distance as yeah. well. If you were having to ship 16 meters, you're not. Oh, yeah. He'd have two to your one. Yeah, that quick. <clears throat> the two a minute. You know what I mean, it's hard to catch with roach 13 meters. It's yeah, hard yeah, yeah. to catch one a minute 
fast. Yeah, Do you know what yeah. I mean? Really quick, nice. Maybe two a minute pushing it in good spells. Mm. He was two a minute, steady. But it was Without always breaking the sweat. Moving the feeder all the time as well, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, twitching feeders, not feeding, going in without bait. Different, just, just proper on it, nice and smooth. It made you blink <laughs> and open your eyes to, oh yeah, there's a different world to that. Because you see it from afar, don't you? You've never been involved and you don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't appreciate the amount of time and the, it's, it's levels, isn't it? What yeah. we talk about fishing all the time. What them likes. Michael's, Michael should be in the England team with Ringer and them. It's only because he pretends to be flipping Irish. So he's not, <laughs> he's let's not going to that. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. it is, it, it's flipping the efficiency of them lads, the England team and Michael as well. Yeah. That they've taken feeder fishing to, yeah, next level, mm. like beyond next level, isn't it? Mate, amazing. I mean, yeah, Cox, he's, he's the same as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. They've took it to a level that you can't rock up and compete. But yeah, until but until someone sits down and explains all the stuff they're going through, you don't comprehend it, do you? Yeah, until no. you've seen it. You're it's like, horrible. oh, he's just plopping out a feeder and it's going around with a roach every time. That's yeah. dead easy. I could do that. Yeah. No. No, no you, you can. cannot. Yeah. It, it, that's the most inferior I've been made to feel for a long time. Cheers for that, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, after that, what were we on after that? It went cold after that. I reckon that. it was bagger after that, wasn't it? When we went to Tunnel Barn, it was very, very cold. I'm going to say it was like early November. Yeah. Yeah, bagger then got, yeah. Was it? Yeah, bagger. I was on my holidays when you went with bagger. Were you? Yeah. I was in Tenerife when you went out with Yeah, you were. Yeah, yeah. So it's proper cold. Uh, it took us to Tunnel Barn and is to take a light winter sort of maggoty F1 fishing. Um, so all the stuff that we've been telling you about, <laughs> taping, shotting in, this, that, and all, like nice dead like foley rigs. No, bagger dispelled that. Balkan, Balkan two droppers, longer up lengths as well. Um, little baby kits, you know, he's massive for them. Short freeze and all that, yeah. even in the winter. Um, it's, yeah. it's hard to let for us. I don't know how to put this right. We get to talk to Bagger, we're in yeah, that world in a the, lot. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's harder for any big things to be a wow moment, isn't it? Yeah. The thing that always comes across with Bagger is his mentality. Just how smooth, just so laid back and just, chill, just like. Oh yeah, can you talk about this, Andy? Yeah, of course. And it's just yeah. like his decisions just like, it's just, are a joke. Aren't just like, it's right, just... I need to do this now. I need to feed there. I'm like, oh, that, yeah, but why? You know what I mean? It's just, yeah, it's so good, so smooth, just amazing. Yeah, every second. I mean, I, I know all that. So, so like, nothing was like, don't take this Sam long. Nothing like amazed me, but because I see it all the time with him. Yeah, it's because we speak he, to he him is amazing. endlessly. We, we always see, we always know what he does. Yeah, uh, but it's just like to to have a. You know that sort of time with him and see what he does. It's just, yeah, he's just next level. He's the bestest. Like you, you know what I mean? Just, just. He puts it across in a lovely, chilled he out. Does. Mm. There's no effort to me. I'm just you know gonna smash I mean? it up, rock up, set up a top kit. Just like that. Just Attitude, gets it, just he? pulls it and it's there. And <laughs> never, never once. Well, oh, we actually did. Didn't he have one? Uh, snapped him, didn't it? Yes. <laughs> I'm like, yes. He You're does normal. happen to you. <laughs> you are normal. <laughs> the biggest thing with with him is how good he is, but how little he does prep wise. No, oh, but he yeah. does now, he's does he, changed a bit. He, getting a bit he does a lot more than he used to, doesn't he? Yeah. I've seen his up close box the other day, the good one, I was like, I was shocked he tied them to be fair. Yeah, he probably shouldn't tie them after. Yeah, now he's... What was it, a little F1 is like, just unraveled in the net. It's like just pigtailed and pigtail. Oh, it. I've never had that before. It's probably lucky that he's not like, <laughs> like Paul or Des in uh, Paul or Will in terms of prep, because then he'd just complete oh, fishing mate. and yeah, break us all, <laughs> isn't it? It's a good job he's only across or in your edge or something like that. Yeah. You don't know fish is. I don't think it's a big fish though. Might be another one of them stockies. Yeah, little Isn't stocky. It? Stockies. Bloody hell, my hook's come off. <laughs> Did I tie them once? Did you tie these up? <laughs> Pigtailed on me. Uh, I think we'll cut it there. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and legend. Tony one just me, Rich. Yeah, no, yeah. so good. Eye opening, really. Bag of just for Christmas. Yeah. Matty, Matty straight after Christmas. Is Matty then yeah. Darren won it? When were we all with Matty? It was after Christmas, wasn't it? You know, I was very ill that day. You, you and we had miserable Rich. Proper oh, miserable, really? narky Rich. Oh, Richard. Come on, mate. Yeah, didn't want to play with us that day. That but was very, very close to getting cancelled. Was it? You yeah. were that broken. You've been out the weird that before? No, it was just like ill. I yeah, thought it was right. Rona, but it wasn't. He yeah, just came share with Rona with us and then had a knock <laughs> on my own. But yeah, Matty's a weird one for me. Matty's one of my best mates, so I speak to Matty most days. Yeah. But he still. I was a bit, oh right, 
in his positivity for Stockies getting job done. Yeah, he was on about this before, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah. I'm a bit tarty in the winter, me. I mean, and it's all about being delicate and Matty gets job done to him. And then windows in that style of fishing, the very good, the likes of him, Christian, it's a young ones game, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. The fast ones. Yeah. When it is, lots of, in the winter time, Stockies, which is what the film was all about, wasn't it? Like, I was surprised at how positive everything was with elastic, even feed, quite heavy, big hooks. Right. Just stuff that I hear on the nice, delicate, lovely, you don't. You get job done and you fall yeah, behind yeah. them if you don't. Yeah. So being positive at the right times, so I've had that come up many times with Matty as well, we've both had it. But yeah, that entertained me on that day. Like it. And it told me not to go out in the winds because it was flipping freezing and horrible. <laughs> yeah. It was, wasn't it? I hate winter. <laughs> but we're past it now, it's getting all good. Oh, it's beautiful and today. Finally. Coxie, wasn't Coxie it? Coxie at Medellin. Just before your final, or our final. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was, yeah, Coxie, Darren, he's definitely in my top five of angry heroes, heroes and legends. Yeah, he's one of yeah. mine, 100%. Uh, and do you know what I mean? I'm lucky that I get to speak to Daz quite yeah. a bit. He's yeah. just a lovely person he's to amazing. be around, isn't he? He's amazing. Proper, proper lovely. And it was weird that when we went, it was right in Medellin, that's that changey thing, because straight after it went all pellety. Yeah. So when we went, it was still just a bit, yeah, it was a bit cold and a bit so weird. Like more natural baity worms and maggots. And yeah, definitely. And yeah. it was, it was ways of keeping bikes coming. What he's expecting, riggy sort of thing was dead nice for me. Didn't you say it like surprised you where you'd expect the bream to rock up or something? You know, you expect him to rock up long rather than come on that short line or something bit like that. Bit of both of that, that, that was Daz's, that was me sponging off Daz's venue knowledge, if anything. Right, get, yeah, I get told you. we were after that, I was all about, they'll be there, but he's like, oh no, they can just as likely be, that right. was yeah, yeah. just, that, that to, to be fair, that's what it was, was me trying to find out as much as could about Medellin. <laughs> but yeah, for the final. Because we had the Love final that. coming, yes. and I thought, who better to get than probably the best skimmer <laughs> angle that goes there, we'll get Daz. Nice. But no, it was great, his thinking behind elastics and ground, but and all, just, yeah, the, the side of fishing, that it's the naturally, um, water anglers coming to meet the commercial anglers. Daz is like probably the one I'd say is the mix of both the most. Right. Do you know what I mean? It, it, you having that? Yeah. Do you get what I sort of mean? Sort of coming from natural to... But a bit of both. He's the most well-rounded yeah. out of all the people I could think of for doing a bit of everything. So it was interesting to see his thoughts on natural baits and all that sort of thing. At what sort of place it had. It was good. We just yeah. didn't stay there for long enough, did we? Because we had to bail. It wasn't a late, it's a late peg for developing for Bream, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, for them skimmers it is. And we yeah. had to be done by like two o'clock that day. Yeah, because he, he's stayed on and clunked a few afterwards, hasn't yeah. he? And been all keen. But, no, but, it, it was about the right rigs in the tow and all that. So the biggest lesson was, for I was always obsessed with big rigs. When it gets windy, bigger rigs, bigger rigs, bigger all rigs. Hold on to yeah. it, yeah. He, he made it dead simple and the dead basic answer of, you need two gram rig, throw your feed out. Yeah. If you can't fish properly, for a feed, just you have to be able to fish properly, and because it was all about that big wild conditions big, yeah, on there. Yeah, big water. And it wasn't even deep. windy, but it was horribly windy. Right. I mean, three mile an hour at Medellin, at Medellin, you might not be able to stand seven up miles an hour. When he, yeah. when he was saying about, like, if you if you're bigger than two gram, you're sort of spending your time fighting the conditions rather than fishing. Yeah. And that's where the kind of crossover is, where it is chucking a feeder, chucking a bomb, or they do weird things like that there, don't yeah, they? Yeah, just Bomb fish to and... the best possible way you can, wasn't it? Yeah. And then there was the tow elements and all that that he was talking about, where his feed goes and all that. Just yeah. so Every little bit helps, doesn't it? Lots of 1% when it came to the DAS. Like there wasn't it. a big, mm, yeah, yeah, like yeah. Speedy's tip or whatever. There was, that sounded dodgy. That's frightening as well for what we've heard of. Yeah, DAS was just a nice overall, lots of little 1%. So. Obviously, going to carry on through this year and into the future doing guests and yes. different subjects. Who's a dream one now? Obviously, we've done those. If you could pick one now that was like, right, we're going here with you to do this. Oh, for me? Yeah. What I'd want to know. For enjoyment, Ringer at Med Ferry Meadows catching some £10 bream. Oh yeah. For enjoyment, good. I'd like seeing that, just because yep. I want to see a 10-pound bream and he's the man to catch it. But I don't, there's lots of things. Andy Finley, we're going to speak to him, bit of pace fishing. There's loads of little aspects in it. Yeah. Who's yours, loads. Andrew? I, you know what? I'd quite like to uh, get out with Christian and get into his head. Some shallow fishing with yeah. Chris. We spoke about that, haven't we? I think that would be uh, pretty special because he's like flipping ridiculous at that. We spoke about that already, haven't we? Yeah, definitely. Tommy, maybe. 
Tommy, yeah. Don't move. Yeah, I'd get a slap. I'll with that. go with Tommy. Yeah, no, you go, go with Tommy. Tommy. But no, yeah. loads and loads. Give, give us any examples. Yeah, stick some comments in if yeah. anyone yeah. likes that. Who you want to see? Where? Doing what? Yeah, we've got a million ideas in here. We've got to sort lots out. Lots and lots and lots in the pipeline. That's isn't another one as well. Isn't it? Got to go and see something else. That we'll sort that. Yeah, yeah. We're already on that. Love then. it. Yes. Here we go. Another year of free fishing lessons for us. Yes, please. Yeah. Right, so we hope you are enjoying the video that you're watching. If not, have just watched. But what we'd also like you to see is the packages that we include for our more technical, informational stuff, where what we can bring to you is all we pretty much know about the technical side and our match style side of fishing. And I'm what we have, bit. <laughs> you are, of course you are in this bit. We have two sides of things. We have the basic package that for 4 99 you can watch us fish live matches, a Q&A every month, and additional stuff from Matty Doors with live matches and more technical stuff on his side. Or we have the all access package where you can literally see technical insights live matches from again from us but also from some of the best anglers flipping on the planet i mean we treat it as three days coaching for us and we go out and we show you what we're learning for anglers like darren cox andy bennett their ship to name but a few well worth a look if you fancy having a little bit more fishing content to watch